गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी सिंथेटिक डाइज व्हाट इज सिंथेटिक डाइज और व्हाट इज मीन बाय डाय फर्स्ट डाइज आर द कंपाउंड व्हिच आर कैपेबल ऑफ इंपार्टिंग कलर्स टू द आर्टिकल लाइक फाइबर पेपर लेदर्स All dyes are colored compound, but all colored compound are not dyes. It is important. There are certain criteria compound have to follow to become a dye. So, what are the criteria for dyes? Dyes should resistance to action of water, light, action of soap, and action of detergent, etc. <coughs> absorption in the visible region is the primary condition for a substance to be a color when we say a substance is yellow in color or blue in color so th this means that that absorption of that substance taking place in visible region the intensity of color depends upon the molar extension coefficient that is epsilon if the epsilon value is high intensity of color is more it simply means that darker is the color if epsilon value is low it simply means that intensity of color is less it means that brighter color lighter color or fading of the color now just see this graph this is basically a graph between intensity or absorbance versus wavelength of light now first of all what is meant by bathochromic shift the shift in the lambda max towards your higher value of wavelength is called as bathochromic shift or bathochromic effect it is also known as red shift if you are this peak shifted towards right hand side then it is known as bathochromic shift it simply means that lambda lambda max value increases what is hypsochromic shift the shift in the lambda max towards lower wavelength is called hypsochromic shift it is also known as blue shift if your lambda max value goes towards left hand side that is lambda max value decreases then it is known as blue shift what is hypochromic shift increase in the value of molar absorptivity that is epsilon is called hypochromic effect it leads to the deepening or darkening of the color what is hypochromic shift decrease in the value of molar absorptivity that is epsilon is known as hypochromic shift it leads to fading of color there are basically two theories of color and constitution first theory is known as otovitz theory it is also a classical approach of color and constitution second theory is known as modern modern theory it is electronic concept of your color and constitution so one by one we are going to see both the theories so what is otovitz theory or classical theory according otovitz according to otovitz theory the intrinsic color of the compound is due to the presence of certain group containing multiple bond groups imparting colors are generally known as chromophores some of the example of chromophores groups are nitro group nitroso group azo group paraquinoid group etc 
मोर इज द नंबर ऑफ क्रोमोफोर इन अ कंपाउंड हायर इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ कलर जस्ट सी हियर इन दिस फॉर्मूला सी सिक्स एच फाइव सी एच डबल बॉन्ड सी एच सी सिक्स फाइव नंबर ऑफ डबल बॉन्ड इज वन सो दिस कंपाउंड इज कलरलेस इन सेकेंड कंपाउंड नंबर ऑफ डबल बॉन्ड इज टू इट इज ऑल्सो कलरलेस बट फ्रॉम नाउ ऑनवर्ड्स दिस वी सी दैट एज द नंबर ऑफ डबल बॉन्ड इंक्रीजेस इन यूर कंपाउंड कलर चेंजेस इन दिस कंपाउंड नंबर ऑफ अनसेचुरेशन इज थ्री सो इट इज फेलिंग फेल एलो इन कलर नंबर ऑफ अनसेचुरेशन इन दिस कंपाउंड इज फोर सो इट इज येलो इन कलर नंबर ऑफ अनसेचुरेशन इन दिस कंपाउंड इज फाइव सो इट इज ऑरेंज इन कलर सो इट सिंपली मीन्स दैट प्रेजेंस ऑफ डबल बॉन्ड डज नॉट मीन्स युअर कंपाउंड इज कलर हाउ मेनी टाइम्स इट इज रिपीटेड इन युअर स्ट्रक्चर इट इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टंट सर्टन ग्रुप्स हैव कैपेसिटी टू इंटेंसीफाई द कलर प्रोड्यूस बाय द क्रोमोफोर and that groups are generally known as oxochromes so what is oxochrome oxochromes are those group which intensify the color they do not produce color in the compound some of the example of oxochromes are hydroxyl group alkoxy group amino group etc neither chromophore or nor oxochrome alone produce a dye but combination of this two leads to the enhanced color just see here this is the structure of naphthalene and naphthalene is basically a colorless compound this is the structure of alpha naphthol alpha naphthal oh and it is oxochromic group that's why it is also a colorless compound this is the structure of 1,5 dinitro naphthalene because of presence of this 2 no2 group this compound is pale yellow in color because nitro groups are chromophoric group but just see the, the structure of 2,4 dinitro 1 naphthol it is also known as red dye in this structure we see that there are presence of oxochrome group also and so there are presence of oxochrome oxochrome as well as chromophore also no2 is chromophoric group chromophore and oh is oxochrome so oxochrome not only intensify the color but also form a salt with acidic or basic group of substrate as a result it imparts drying property to the compound so now we are going to see modern theories that is electronic concept of color and constant constant constitution modern theory are divided into two parts one is valence bond theory and second one is molecular orbital theory so first we are going to see valence bond theory of color and constitution according to valence bond theory when molecule is placed in path of light electronic excitation is taking place from ground to excited state this excitation for this excitation energy is absorbed in the form of photon the energy of photon can easily be calculated or it is always equal to excited state energy minus ground state energy 
that is energy of proton is always equal to the difference between excited state energy and ground state energy if wavelength correspond to if wavelength of photon correspond to sorry if a wavelength is associated with this energy of photon correspond to visible region then molecule appears color a pi bond containing molecule can be written as resonance hybrid of number of resonance structures more is the resonance structure more is the stability with increase in the conjugation the energy difference between ground state and excited state goes on decreases hence absorption takes place at longer wavelength just see here this is the structure of ethylene ethylene contain one pi bond and wavelength is correspond to it is 175 nanometer now this is the structure of 13 butadiene and it's contain two pi bond and we see that due to the presence of two pi bond wavelength increases it comes as a 217 nanometer now in this structure there is three double bond so wavelength is further increases here whenever there are positive inductive effect positive resonance effect negative inductive effect or negative resonance effect or group at the conjugation they are they are by thereby intensifying the color and also result in red shift that is bathochromic shift just see here this is the structure of benzene lambda max for benzene is 204 nanometer while lambda max for aniline is 230 nanometer this shift in wavelength from benzene to aniline is occur due to the presence of this amine group similarly if we see the structure of nitrobenzene the wavelength is associated is 270 nanometer this change in the wavelength from benzene to nitrobenzene is basically due to the presence of this nitro group on your benzene in the next class we are going to see molecular orbital theory and other concept related to dyes thank you very much